Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate Facepalm channel. My name's Keo, and today I'm going to show you some GPU settings for NVIDIA cards that might just save your hardware while playing New World. Stay tuned. First of all, I'm going to go over the settings that will help protect your GPU, and then I'm going to explain why you should probably do this. So the first thing we need to do before you even launch the game in NVIDIA is you need to go down to your NVIDIA control panel. If you right click on NVIDIA settings, you can see that it says NVIDIA control panel right there. Open that up. All right. You'll see this white box here. It says manage 3D settings. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to go to program settings and you're going to hit add. And I'll explain more about this as we go along. So after you hit add, you're going to scroll down so you find New World. You're going to click on New World, and you're going to hit Add Selected Program. And then you're going to see New World in a box just like this. And the next thing you want to do is scroll down to where it says Max Frame Rate. Go ahead and turn that to either 60 or some number below 60. This basically tells your GPU not to go over 60 frames while in-game. And this is important because on the loading screen of New World, it seems to have an uncapped frame rate, and it causes a lot of stress on the GPU right as you boot. So it's good to tell it that it can't go over 60 frames. The second thing you're going to do is go down to Power Management Mode and switch this to Optimal. This will make it so it won't overload your capacitors in most cases. So here's where the problem comes in with New World. New World tends to override the driver when it comes to voltage regulation. So what happens is if your card is set to 100% of its voltage and it's not rated for overclocking, it will be at 100% of its power capacity and then it will spike up suddenly on occasion. And that spike is when the GPU could have a critical problem like a soldering point coming apart or a capacitor overloading and like exploding and that's where you get like the news where the Zotec card caught fire and people's screens are going black and fans are going to 100% it's because they overloaded the GPU playing New World uh, but this could be prevented and this is what I'm here to help you with the next thing you want to do after you have set your settings in the control panel is you can close that now because you just told it like hey don't use too much power and don't go over 60 frames that's good stuff. My next suggestion is get MSI Afterburner. And what you're going to do is turn down the power limit percentage down to 90%. And this will tell your GPU is, hey, I can't go over 90% of my capacity when it comes to my voltage. So when New World and its coding or whatever the hell is happening there overrides your driver and spikes up your voltage, instead of jumping up to like 110%, you'll jump up to maybe 100%, which is completely fine because that's the capacity of your GPU. So this helps protect it from those voltage so, uh, surges that the game tends to do, mostly on the title screen. So those are the two things that you can do before you even start the game to help protect your GPU. So the last thing that I would suggest doing, and this is gonna require you to log into the game after you've done all those settings, Go ahead and launch your game. Okay, so now that we're in New World, you can see that in the upper right hand corner, my FPS is not going over 60 in the title screen. That's really important. Most of the GPUs, especially the RTX 3090s that got fried and popped and stopped working, happened in the starting screen where the FPS was uncapped and it ramped up and just went wild and the voltage went wild and it just caused it to overload itself. So, once you're in the game, feel free to hit the settings button, go over to visuals, and make sure that you keep it either at 1440p or 1080p. Do not go to 4K, that's where most of the issues tend to happen, is when you try to upscale to 4K, it, it just goes bananas, right? And then the other thing you need to do is, I suggest, depending on your card, I have a 2070 Super, I wouldn't go over high. It can handle very high, but don't stress your card out anymore. There's bugs in this game, and people have been having some issues, so let's prevent that completely. 
Just set it all default high if you have a 2070 super. And then come down to, you know, you can show your FPS. So you don't really need V-Sync because if your monitor has free sync or G-Sync, it's automatically going to do this. So you can just go ahead and turn that off. If you're having tearing problems, turn it back on and it will fix it. Make sure you go to FPS and turn that to 60. It should already defaultly be at 60. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you do these things, if you do these settings, it should help you protect your GPU from any possible like over voltage or any, any soldering points popping or anything like that. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope all you guys are doing well and hopefully your GPUs stay healthy. Just want to show you that I've used these settings and I've been protecting my PC and playing this game for quite a long time already. I'm going to show you my playtime. I have currently 102 hours in New World. It just goes to show that if you protect your hardware, the game will run just fine. There'll be some, there's occasional bugs, but they're working on it, all right? So, until next time, it's been really great. I hope this video has helped you. If this video has helped you, please feel free to hit that like button down below. And if you like the video and want to see more on this channel and support the Ultimate Face Bomb community, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, bye bye <laughs>